Hello, everyone, and welcome back um, to, I guess, this new segment I doing, <laughs> I'm doing where I just kind of, like, talk and just, you know, say what's on my mind for the day. Um, I think I'm just going to start doing this every day and putting them out there because I really enjoy, like, just talking um, to y'all yesterday. Um, I think Queen of the Ratchet, I just want to go ahead and dabble into it. I think that, um, again, my name is Joshua Gilliard. If you don't know who I am, um, I, I gotta get better at like introducing myself before I start talking. Like this is just weird and new and it'll get better at time, but I'm Joshua Gilliard. I'm the creator, founder, and I guess the queen of Queen of the Ratchet, and um, good morning, good afternoon, assalamu alaikum, cheerio, old chap, ashanaboba to all those listening. Um, shit is crazy in 2020, isn't it? It is like really like there's a lot going on, right? <laughs> and um, I just have been just trying to take it day by day. I think that I went through a phase where I was like, I just didn't know. And I still don't know, like what is really going on here? Um, I wake up every day and I'm like, I am just tired as hell of doing and dealing with this. But like so many of you, I don't know what's going on, but I can tell you what I'm tired of. I'm tired of the people telling me what's going on. I'm tired of people saying that this is a pandemic. I'm tired of people saying, well, we need to get Trump out of office and that's going to fix everything. Or we need to elect Joe Biden and that's going to fix everything. Or we need to keep Trump in office and that's going to fix everything. Or we need to do this. Or you need to wear your mask. Or they're not sending us money. And it's just like so much is happening all at once. Where I just want like, like I want to pray, get on my knees and I want to pray and I want to say, hey, Hey God, um, this is Joshua. Yeah, you created me um, a couple years ago in 1986, June 23rd specifically. Um, yeah, what's going on here? Um, is someone coming back or is this the apocalypse because people are dying left and right? Like, can you just let me know what's going on? And if you're planning on destroying the world, let a hoe know. You know what I mean? Because there's stuff that I still haven't done. Like, guys, like, I moved to Atlanta, like, seven or six years ago. And I was like, okay, Joshua, you kind of gotten into this rut. Like, you've kind of been stationary. You haven't traveled. Like, I have a passport, y'all, and I haven't used it. I've had it since I was, like, 20-something years old, and I haven't used it. And I used to travel and I used to be worldly and I used to like want to be a, a international hoe. And I kind of just got to this place where I was like stuck. And this year I was like, this is my year. Like I'm going to go see Janet Jack. Janet Jackson was going on tour. And fun fact about me, love me some Janet Jackson. And I was like, I'm going to go see Janet Jackson on tour didn't happen because of the pandemic and now I'm in this place where I'm just I'm just like anything is possible anything can happen um right now I'm like working two days out of the week still serving and everything a lot of y'all think that I'm rich and I'm famous like some of these other social media celebrities which that rich and famous or whatever that is is coming but I ain't rich like I still have like another job yes I have a partnership with YouTube yes my Facebook, social media is growing, but I'm not there yet. It's going to get there. I feel it. And it's always been there where I feel like it's going to get there. But I'm like, this is my time to really take this seriously. But I don't know about y'all. I'm tired. I'm tired. And I am trying to figure it out, just like all of you guys. Um, I'm taking it day by day. 
what's helped me and hopefully it'll help you too you know and like everybody's different like everybody's like oh you need to do this you need to do this you need to do this to keep your mental i believe that mental health is so important and it's so overlooked especially in the black community is overlooked i've been in therapy um i have a life coach i've been journaling every single day um i get up in the morning I run around my block twice. You know, I used to be really big in fitness where I was like, oh, I'm going to run around like four or five times. And I'm like, no, let's just, let's run around twice and let's build up to that. Then I come in, um, meditate for 20 minutes, get my thoughts together. Um, And this week specifically, I've been like, I'm going to go to bed at a decent hour, wake up in the morning. And my sister, um, shout out to Farah Gilliard, Talk to me about sun gazing in this morning because I'm black. I didn't know this is something that I'm researching even more, but because I'm black and I have melanin in my skin, you know, we're taught not to look at the sun. We're taught not to um, stare at the sun, but I'm, I'm working on sun gazing. I did it for about a minute this morning, 40 seconds. And then I was like, what am I doing? But when I looked at the sun and I stared, I was like, I'm kind of enjoying this. Now, I'm not trying to go blind or anything. I'm still kind of like trying to figure it out. I need to get up earlier and doing it because I'm not trying to go do anything damaging to my eyes. But I really enjoyed like staring into the sun this morning. Um, I've also been doing what I want to do um, and believing that anything is possible. Like I don't, I don't, I don't get up with the same attitude of nine to five, Joshua, go to work, do this. I get up making my schedule and okay, we're going to focus on queen of the ratchet. We're going to focus on creating content. We're going to focus on, you know, putting out stuff that we want to put out on how we want to put our staple onto this world. And I'm just trying to grow for myself. I don't know what to tell you guys and like tell you, hey, you need to go vote for Joe Biden because the world is going to be differently or Trump is going to tear this world apart. I don't want to push that narrative because I honestly don't know what's going on. I can sit here and say, I don't know. And that's okay. Like a lot of you don't know. It's okay to be confused. It's okay to be hurt. It's okay to be tired. It's okay to not want to deal with things. It's okay to, you know, be like, I just want to lay in bed all day or I don't want to talk to people or I want to cut my social media off. I think all that's okay. It's okay to feel hurt, sad, frustrated, all that. We're human. And if, I don't know about y'all, but I've never gone through something like this before. So I just think it's okay. And a lot of the times, I feel like, especially in the black community, it's like people make it seem it's not okay to view things. I'm getting a little emotional. But they feel like it's not okay to view things a different way than other people. And human beings in in general, because I feel like a lot of people think they know what's going on. Even the politicians and the way they're talking, they're like, oh, we need to get me in office. We need to get this person in office or we need to do this. And it's like, girl, you don't know what's going on either. Like you're trying to push your narrative. And it's like for me right now, I'm tired because I feel like these rich people, these people in power don't care about me. And I'm at a place where I just, I want people to care more. I want people to want to understand. We don't necessarily have to agree on each other's viewpoints. We don't have to to actually see the world the same way. But what's missing a lot for me is the respect. And I feel like we should respect each other more. 
we can throw shade. We can be petty. You know, we could petty bitch. Ooh, petty bitch. A. This is a song for the petty bitches. A. And I think that's great. But what's missing a lot for me and why I feel like I'm so tired is the respect. The idea that everybody has a purpose here. And I, one thing I want to say to all y'all is I want y'all to understand because it's for me, even though I feel like it's going to get uglier, uglier, I believe that everyone on this planet has a purpose and we're all meant to be here for a specific reason. We all have purpose. We all have a reason for being here and all of your lives matter. In the sense, now I'm saying black lives matter, but I'm saying in the sense, all of our lives and all of our purposes matter. Now, that's different from me saying, because I want to make sure I'm clear. I'm not saying that whole thing where this this right wing perspective of all lives matter and everything. No, I'm not on that thing. So don't don't sit there and say my words like that, because listen, I'm so for black lives, all black lives mattering. Now, I don't understand the whole Black Lives Matter movement and everything about it and everything. I don't get everything about what's going on out there because it seems like there's a lot of white people controlling that aspect of it. And it seems a little unfocused for me. For me, it seems a little unfocused. But what I'm saying in this moment is that our lives all have purpose. There's a reason for all of us being here. There's a reason why I'm doing Queen of the Ratchet. There's a reason why you guys are listening to me this morning or afternoon or whenever it is. There's a reason where you are right now. And you have to understand and I have to understand that we are all meant to be here for a reason. Nothing happens just out of luck or by chance. Some things do, but a lot of the times it's it's a purpose behind it. There's a reason why people are in your lives. There's a reason why things are happening. I didn't know why I was going to get on here this morning and talk about it. I was just like, well, I want to start doing this every morning with you guys. Oh, that's my phone. Um, I want to start doing this every mor- morning with you guys or whenever I wake up and putting it out there because... You know, I think it's important like that y'all see the different sides and see the different perspectives. And one thing that when I talk about certain topics, I try to like when Tremaine and Coella is talking about something like I think today I want to talk about the Candace Owen and Cardi B thing. I think I'm going to let the, the, the Disney villains, the Disney villains are going to handle that. But. What I try to do is I try to understand or try to come from the perspective of the other side. Even though I might have my different perspective, I think it's good to see or listen to the other side. I'm not saying everybody has to do that, but that's what I like to do when I put things out there. So then we have a petty conversation about what's going on. And it's great that people are passionate about their opinions. It's great that people are passionate about this world. I think passion and purpose go hand in hand. But what we have to do a better job at doing is respecting each other, especially the black community, talking to each other with respects. Not everybody is a coon. Not bad everybody is a sellout. Not everybody's trying to, like, you know, do bad things for the black community. But not all skin, I'm also going to say, on the other side of it, not all skin folks are kin folks. So, y'all take that for what it is. I enjoy and I appreciate you guys listening to me. Um, Make sure that you are following everything that is Queen of the Ratchet. Till next time. Bye, y'all.